What's up? What's up? What's up, gamers? What's up? Going to, uh... Going to the Peace Council. Wearing the Jagged Crown. Well, I thought I just put it on. Yeah, there we go. Alright. So, you've done it. Men of violence are gathered here in these halls whose very stones are dedicated to peace. I should not have agreed to host this council. The Greybeards have no business involving ourselves in such matters. Peace? <laughs> I doubt it. They may put their weapons down for a moment, but only to gather strength for the next bloodletting. Possibly. They are not yet tired of war. Far from it. Do you know the ancient Nord word for war? Season unending. And so it has proved. But regrets are pointless. Here we are. Take your seat at the council table. And let us see what wisdom you find among them. Who just went outside? Cause someone just went outside. Did someone just leave the negotiation table? Unacceptable if so. Where are you going, Legget Ricka? I'm glad I finally got a chance to see this place. Why are you leaving, though? We should get started. You've done well to even get the two of them. Okay, alright. Yeah, we can get things started, but where are you going? Take your seat and we can begin. I don't know why Legget Ricka's just walking out, all Jay walking on this, uh. Peace talks. Okay, let me sit here. Okay. And then I guess wait an hour for Ricka. Now that everyone yes. is here, okay. please take your seats. So Stupid glitch. Begin. I hope that we have all come no. here in the spirit you of... you insult us by bringing her to this negotiation? Your chief Talos hunter? Here, here. I have every right to be at this negotiation. I need to ensure that nothing is agreed to here that violates the terms of the White Gold Concordat. She's part of the Imperial delegation. You can't dictate who I bring to this council. Please. If we have to negotiate the terms of the negotiation, we will never get anywhere. <laughs> Perhaps this would be a good time to get the Dragonborn's input on this matter. What do you think? Are we going to let Ulfric dictate terms to us before the negotiations even start? I mean, the Thalmor really shouldn't be here. Maybe so, but we shouldn't be making concessions before negotiations even start. Makes us look weak. That's fine. I'll defer to your judgment on this one, but I think it's a mistake. Very well, Ulfric. Enjoy your petty victory. The Thalmor will treat with whatever government rules Skyrim. We would not think of interfering in your civil war. Ha! Skyrim will never bow to the Thalmor. Unlike your Imperial friends here. You're lucky I respect the Greybeard's council, Galmar. Legget, we represent the Emperor here. Sorry, sir. It won't happen again. Yeah. Now that that's settled, may we proceed? I have something to say first. Here we go. The only reason I agreed to attend this council was to deal with the Dragon Menace. There's nothing else to talk about. Unless the Empire is finally ready to renounce its unjust claim to rule over the free people of Skyrim. I knew he wouldn't We're be able to We're here to arrange a temporary truce to allow the Dragonborn here to deal with the dragons, nothing more. I consider even talking to the Empire a generous gesture. Are you done? Did you just come here to make speeches, or can we get down to business? Yes, let's get this over with. Are we ready to proceed? Jarl Ulfric. General Tullius. This council is unprecedented. We are gathered here at the Dragonborn's request. 
I ask that you all respect the spirit of High Hrothgar. Do your best to begin the process of achieving a lasting peace in Skyrim. Who would like to open the negotiations? Yes, let's get down to it. We want control of Markarth. That's our price for agreeing to a truce. So that's why you're here, Ulfric? You dare to insult the Greybeards by using this council to advance your own position? Jarl Elisif. General, oh, this is Hamlet. outrageous. You can't be taking this demand seriously. I thought we were here to discuss a truce. Elisif, I said I'd handle it. Ulfric, you can't seriously expect us to give up Markarth at the negotiating table. You hope to gain in council what you've been unable to take in battle, is that it? I'm sure Jarl Ulfric does not expect something for nothing. Yes, that'd be entirely out of character. What would the Empire character. want in return? Wait, General, you don't intend to just hand over Markarth to that... traitor? This is how the Empire repays us for our loyalty? Enough! First, let's be clear. This council wasn't my idea. I think it's a waste of time. You are a traitor to the Empire, and deserve a traitor's death. But I at least will negotiate in good faith. Since we're all here at your request, I'd like to hear what you think Markarth is worth. Well, not Dawnstar. <coughs> yeah, you'd have to be rifting. Hmm. The rift would help secure our communications with Cyrodiil and threaten Ulfric's southern flank. The Dragonborn has spoken, Talius. Markarth will be ours. Now we'll see if there's anything behind your talk of good faith. I expected better of you, Dragonborn. You what? swore an oath to serve the Emperor. Don't forget it. Oh my god. I can see now that this is not a negotiation at all. I know you, Ulfric. If I hand over Markarth, you'll be ready with a new demand. You'll never defeat the Empire, and you know it. But you're willing to sacrifice thousands for your own selfish ambition. Soon enough, I'll have you back under the Headsman's Axe, and this time there won't be any dragon to save you. As always, the Empire's fine words are worth nothing. Stop! Are you so blind to our danger that you can't see past your pity disagreement? Yeah. Here you sit arguing about nothing. While the fate of the land hangs in the balance. Is he with you, Delphi? If so, I advise you to tell him to watch his tongue. He is with me. And I advise you both to listen to what he has to say before you do anything rash. Don't you understand the danger? Don't you understand what the return of the dragons means? Alduin has returned. The world eater. Even now he devours the souls of your fallen comrades. He grows more powerful with every soldier slain in your pointless war. Can you not put aside your hatred for even one moment in the face of this mortal danger? I don't know about the end of the world, but this dragon situation has gotten out of hand. If this truce will help the dragonborn here put an end to that menace, we both gain. Remember that, Ulfric. Now, back to the matter at hand. You know as well as I do that we can't hand over Markarth on these terms. Damn Imperial arrogance. Out with it then. We want compensation for the massacre at Carthwaston. You slaughtered the very people you claim to be fighting for. True sons of Skyrim would never do such things. Damned Imperial lies. My men would never stoop to such methods, even in retaliation. This is our fault, all the blood spilled in this war is on your head. So, Dragonborn, what do you say? Now... Hmm... Yeah, he's gotta compensate him, well right? Said. For once you'll actually pay for your crimes. I suppose that's the fairest deal we're likely to get. It seems we may have an agreement. Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius, these are the terms currently on the table. 
Markarth will be handed over to Ulfric's forces, Jarl Igmund will step down, and Thongvor Silverblood will become the Jarl of Markarth. The Stormcloaks will withdraw from the Rift, allowing Imperial troops unhindered access. Jarl Leila Lawgiver will step down, and Maven Blackbriar will become the Jarl of Riften. The Stormcloaks will pay appropriate compensation for the massacre at Cartwaston. You both agree to this? The Sons of Skyrim will live up to their agreements, as long as the Imperials hold to theirs. What about you, Alistair? Are these terms to your liking? Speak up! I'm sure General Tullius is waiting to do your bidding. I have nothing to say to that murderer. General, you've proven yourself a good friend to Skyrim. I continue to trust that you will do your utmost to safeguard our interests. Thank you, Jarl Ellison. I appreciate your loyalty. The Empire can live with these terms, yes, for a temporary truce, until the Dragon Menace is dealt with. After that, Ulfric, there will be a reckoning. Count on it. Taking control of the Rift was a great victory. Ulfric must be rather nervous with us so close to his doorstep. Come on, Delmar. I wouldn't say that at the... Oh! Why did I get a Skipping up Markarth is a heavy price for this truce, Dragonborn. I hope it was worth it. We're counting on you to make this all worthwhile. I don't much like this truce. I anticipated the problem. While you were arranging this meeting, I was busy in the library of Skyhaven Temple. An unguessed trove of lost lore. But the important thing is that the blades recorded cross-referencing this with Delphine's map of dragon burial sites. Ah, don't you see? By calling the dragon with a voice, he will hear you wherever he might be. He's not compelled to, but dragons are pride. Your voice in particular is likely to intrigue this dragon after your victory over Alder. I think it's very likely that he will be on. Ah, indeed. I'm no master. Oh, Davin. Yes. I'm ready to do my part. Just say the word. I could have gone worse. Now it's up to you to do it. I could have gone worse. Now it's up to you. Dragon's reach at all? Well, that's an excellent question. You haven't overlooked that little detail, have you? Ah, I believe I can. That could have gone worse. Did you need something? Now it's up to you to deliver. I'm glad you were that able to negotiate the truce. No, it's I guess I can't. As soon as I, I get back, okay. gives you what you I guess I can't give Tullius the crown now. Okay. It won't last. We have nothing to talk. That could have gone worse. Now it's up to you to deliver. I'm glad you were able to negotiate a truce. It makes sense that the blades are all uh, on the Stormcloak side, because I mean, really, it's the only refugee from the Thalmor. But at the same time, do the right thing. Yeah, I guess I'm not openly fighting against the Empire, so. I hope this truce gives you what you need. It won't last. We have nothing to talk about until Parthenax is dead. Hey, did you? Come on, Tullius, get out here. Maybe I can talk to you out here and give it to you out here. Ooh, 30 points. As soon as I get back to White Run, I'll get my men ready. That could have gone worse. Now nope. It's up to you to deliver. Okay. You'll have to speak oh, man. Time for the good old run down the side of the hill to White Run. Routine. Okay. Let's get before we go any further. Ah! Okay, so yeah, peace talks, you get like, I think, yeah, what is that, three options to yay or nay something. It's not very, uh, it's nice that it's an option, I'll give it that. It's not very in-depth, and I don't believe, I don't believe there's a way to make a lasting peace. Uh, it's just, no matter what, 
the best deal you can get from e both parties is, oh, well, we'll hold off until the dragons are taken care of. So, yeah, it's not ideal, ah. but, oh, man. I do like that it's at least an option. I wonder, I guess you could come down from High Hrothgar onto this little bandit uh, cave camp thing. I guess it's theoretically possible. Okay, parkour. Oh. Yeah, cause that's, that's probably it right there, I think. Glad I sent Lydia home. Really, I should be fine. Oh, man. I should be fine without Lydia for now. Just because I have so much inventory space. What? Nah! Do I need to learn that guy's name? Oh, no, I just know it. Okay. And yeah, we're we got plenty of time in this episode. We're also gonna capture the dragon this episode. What? I love that you just glide. You just glide along the ground. Your feet don't actually move. Oh my god, I have so much stamina. What, I got 300 something? I mean, I know it's a stupid amount of stamina. Oh, that unrendered white run behind the door. Okay, just gonna drop anything off I don't need. Talk to Lydia, see if she's got any... I don't think she has any equipment that I need to take off of her. But we'll see. Okay. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this. I thought picking it up would just give me the butterfly wings. Like, you know, happens all the time when you pick up no butterflies normally. But for some reason, I don't know. I just got a butterfly in a jar, and I'm not sure if it's important to quest or anything, so. Xanthra, I'll keep it forever. <laughs> I don't have any dragon stuff, right? No. Books, ingredients. Food can all go in the cell pile. Okay. And then. Okay. I don't think Nords of Skyrim already have. I think that's it, right? Just Nords of Skyrim? Yep. Anything in here I want to keep. Can't drop his bow. Okay. So pretty much everything in here is sell, except for favorite stuff. Okay, that's fine. Keep carrying that around, sell all that crap. Oh, keep my ex executioner hoods. Ah, oh, I can't get rid of it. Shucks. Oh yeah, armors. Yep, yeah, those. Okay, cool. Oh, hey lady. Long life to you, Fane. What do you need, my Fane? Oh, I can't now. I am 80% sure she didn't have anything I needed on her. No, I need to... 
Anything that's stamina or anything that is. Alright. Oh no, that's not what I need. I need those. Nope. Nah. Yes. Nope. Yes. Nope. Yep. Nope. Yeah, why not? Sure. Just for... Oh yeah, I need that. I'm just gonna do some... Uh, it's easier to just do this. It's easier to just take everything and then do the stuff I need to. Okay, so firstly, most importantly, we're gonna need... Uh, regenerate health. Do I have anything decent in here? No, I don't. Okay. In that case, let's just get some resist fire stuff going. Yeah, one of those. Some resist magicka. So really, I haven't made pushes in forever. Gosh. Okay. It's plenty of stuff. Nope. I don't want the concentrated poison damage. There we go. No, we're not going to do that. Okay. And stamina. either, not what I want. Okay. Yeah, that's all I need. That's all I need for now. See, see, we're gonna get a, we got a little bit of crafting in this episode. I mean, it's not the crafting that's the issue, it's the putting up 50 billion uh, crafting ingredients that's the issue. There really needs to be an option for dump all of my uh, ingredient section of my inventory in here, or whatever. Okay, not so bad. Alright, let me drop some stuff I ain't gonna use potion-wise. Uh, that's good, we'll keep that for later. Stream healing, good, good, good. It's all fine and dandy. Let's just keep those. Let's drop that. Keep that. I'll sell that. There we go. Just take some red water skooma over <clears throat> here. I wonder if this will drop me. Now that I've beaten the the red the red water den, what'll happen? Or I'll just be bugging out like this for a little bit. Alright, what else do we have? Got weapons I gotta sell. Got armor. Uh, oh, soul gems and jewelry. Soul gems and jewelry. Ah, and all that stuff I gotta improve. Okay. No, we ain't going with the circlet. Okay. Oh, yeah. Do, 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 do. Robes, hood, hand wraps. These all need improvement, though. Oh, 
Oh, I have maskless and... We haven't tested Xanthar with the shredded item hoods. Let's see how they look. Okay, well, maskless clips his front little spines and looks like crap. And his eyes are outside of the mask, so that's good. That's better. That's better. It's not great, but it's better. You know, I don't have any... Don't have anything clipping. Everything of mine's kept in the head. Oh yeah, dear god, that is horrible. There we go. Okay. I think you just need to sell stuff. Yep. Oh. Sell some pushons. Some pushons first. And everyone, before we get into it, I have no disease. No, I don't. I do not have a tax yet. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Wait, wait. Nope. There you go. Sleeping tree. Eh, whatever. Back anytime if you need a rent. Here. Jesus, that cattle bounced. Okay. And Bellathor, Bellathor, buy some armor. Got something for just about everybody in here. Every. Oh, a bit of this. I didn't get rid of my soul that. gems, that's why I didn't get rid of. Okay. That's all your money. Mm hmm. He had no lockpicks. Now I got a smithing already. Always worth it to buy arrows. Always. Mmm, that's it. Apparel. Keep that. I think I have that already. I'm not doing pickpocket right now, so it doesn't really matter. Ah, always the flawless individuals keep, uh, or gems. Flawless individual gems. Oh yeah, 425. I don't need any more. Don't need any more lockpicks for a while. Alright. Let's go catch us a dragon. Nope. Need shouts. Call dragon. <gasps> Another illusion level. All right, Balgruff, let's get this dragon caught. Caught and captured. And hopefully level with it. Ah, oh, yeah, 31, okay. The Great Porch. That's also... 
No, we're not going to do that. Not going to do that. Who might? Oh, he's over here. Or. Okay, now he's back inside. Great. Map markers. How do they work? What? Okay. Prepare a trap. I guess I'm just waiting on Balgruff, actually. Yeah, he wasn't even back here. Okay. I nice. As steward. We're ready, Dragonborn. Just say the word. As I promised, my men stand ready. The great chains are oiled. We wait. My men know what to do. Make sure you do your part. I'm putting my city in your hands. May the gods watch over your battle. I guess let's start with... Let's get some arrows equipped, let's get my bow out. Was that it? That should have been it. Ah, he's coming? Okay, in that case... Oh, uh, let me take that level up when we're in battle, in case I need it. Don't think I will, but... I have Dragon Bane, right? Dragon Rin, Dragon Rin, Dragon Bane sword. Where is he? I do love how this guy looks. He's got some colors. Oh, well... There's no one important, right? Character-wise, that wasn't... That wasn't a... I don't think it was important. Hey, there's a reason I have a uh, just fire potion that I don't have favorite in. Oh yeah, we got you. Uubuma. You went to a great deal of trouble to put me in this humiliating position. Mm-hmm. In Seer Alduin, hmm? no doubt you want to know where to find Alduin. Yes, I would. Renik Vaza, an apt phrase. Alduin Boval. One reason I came to your call was to test your thorn for myself. Many of us have begun to question Alduin's lordship, whether his thorn was truly the strongest. Among ourselves, of course, Muni Mae, none were yet ready to openly defy him. Mm-hmm. Where is he? Once Lord Croesus, innumerable pardons, I digress. He has traveled to Sovngarde to regain his strength, devouring the Silesur, the souls of the mortal dead, a privilege he jealously guards. His door to Sovngarde is at Skuldafin, one of his ancient fanes high in the eastern mountains. Minduran pa ok midove navarantil. I surely do not need to warn you that all his remaining strength is marshaled there. Zuulost ofan hinlan. Now that I have answered your question, you will allow me to go free? Ah, 
Well, hmm, Croesus, there is one detail about Skaldafin I neglected to mention. Only this. You have the Thurm of Adova, but without the wings mm. of one, you will never set foot in Skaldafin. Of course, I could fly you there, but not while imprisoned like this. Onikan Korav Gair Mirad. It is wise to recognize when you only have me, and you can trust me. Zuni Tarudis. Alduin has proven himself unworthy to rule. I go my own way now. Free me, and I will carry you to Skaldafin. Okay. You'll be the toast of White Run for this. Now, if you don't mind, I've got a city to keep. Well, yeah, you do. Something to tell the great. You sure about that? You want to let that dragon loose after all the trouble to catch him in there? Your funeral. Someone else is gonna have to help you get him back in there again. Perform some of the tests on you. Purely in See what this does. It's a quick save. Really bad idea to make. Carry on, soldier. This is all part of the Dragonborn's plan. Let's see if I survive this. Oh, you can totally just ride this bad boy up. Huh. That's cool. I love. I their chains. The Two-dimensional chains, that's all you need. Oof, oof. Oof, let me get some of that. Uh. All right, gotta go for a dragon ride, guys. This'll, this'll end well. Uh, I guess get my bow out. Saran Oof. I await your command mm -hmm. as promised. Are you ready to see the world as only a Dova can? Yeah, your nostrils are really clean, you know? Yeah. So great off. I warn you, once you've flown the skies of Kaisal, your envy of the Dolph will only increase. Amatir. Mubo Kotin Stinselok. Awesome. And we just ride off into the sunset. Oh boy. This is as far as I can take you. Griffoth Akrin. I will look for your return. Or Alduvins. Okay. Solid. Yeah, let's get some stealth up. Why not? And get my bow. that dragon. I'm gonna need dragon rend. There ain't no one or two ways around it. Oh, 
Okay. Excuse me. Resist fire, resist magicka, restore some health. Sit down, dragon. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Dragon we're in didn't even turn off. Excuse me. Getting a lot of yawning. Is this a kill shot? Kill shot? Oh. Oh. In the hand. Still, though. Okay. Nice. Nice, nice. Nope, nope. Oh, come on. Jump up. Jump up. Jump up. Sometimes, sometimes my character just forgets what jumping is. Is there anything down there? <sighs> Xanthar would check it out. Yeah, he would. Yeah, he would. Okay. Absolutely useless down here. That's Xanthar's MO though. Walks in, kills two Draugr and a and a dragon and uh then goes for a little swim, you know. Oh. Yeah, we get some purple mountain flower, you know. Can't get that nowhere. Ooh, and some blue. Can't get that everywhere. Yeah, there's nothing down here except for a way back up here. Where are we, supposedly? Okay, so we're like... Actually, pretty close to Riften, but whatever. Boached ain't cutting it. Let's take the level right now. Oh, 320, yeah, that's right. Okay. Light armor if I can. Light armor if I can. Okay, let's see. Oh, I can definitely do light armor. Not that, but what's this? Yep, match set. Okay. Where are you? Oh, I don't know. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Oh, doozy of a fight so far, but solid. What are all the bunch of stuff is gonna come out of those doors? Okay, I can't believe there's only one dragon here, but there might be more later. I think another one shows up. I haven't played the actual main ending. Oh, nope. hey, another dragon, another dragon. Okay. Cool. Oh well. These dragons are pushovers. I mean, seriously, it almost seems like the uh, Drog got more health than they do. Useless. Wait, why is that's good? Okay.
Huh. I thought, uh... I thought that shout... I thought unrelenting force when you shouted deflected arrows, but it might not. I know it flexes with your aim if you're an archer, but... What is this? Can I actually go in here? South Tower. We're gonna check it out because we're Xanthar. It's what we do. Well, immediately sounds like a party. Get to dying. Again. Oh gosh, come on. Oh my god. Oh the Death Lord, I guess the Death Lord came in. Ooh, let's get let's get some get some healing. Resist magic, restore health. I guess restore. Oh, he's got an ebony mace. That's what's doing it. I thought I had... I don't. Death Lord, definitely gonna be taking that. Is there any dead bodies up here? They all fall. Oh, there's a, another level too. Okay, well, obviously there's no, another level. I gotta go all the way up. Okay. So that's a door, which just goes out. Earn. Okay, cool. This seems like it'd be trapped, but... Guess it's not. School Duffin. Man. This is it? This is it? This is it. I guess if I had more better better air uh, archery and uh archery skills and archery uh, damage output, it'd be dope. Get up here, just sneak around. Snipe some, some jogger. Okay. A little sidetrack out of the way. Okay, try and save the white file and everything. Hidden again. I'm telling you, arrows are indestructible in this game. Never splinter, never crack. That worked out real well for a while. Yes. Oh, well, 17 gold, but I'll take it. There's nothing here.
Oh, nice. guy if I actually kill him by bow and arrow. Let's see, let's see if I can do the old uh shooting gallery with a uh, Fusro Da trick. I love it. Y'all coming? Come on, y'all. Come on, dying swine. Go down. Yes. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh. Yeah, everyone starts Fusro done. Healing. And you, sir, had exactly yeah, ebony battle axe is what I wanted. Are right, you in here? Yeah. Covered. We're in here. Time to recharge. Oh, I am carrying Dragon Bane still. Barely anything. That's that's it. Okay. So I got Dragon Bane. I should use that on Alduin. Ugh. I already got an Ebony Warhammer. I don't need to pick up a second one. No reason to. I think if you go here at high enough level, everyone's got a... Everyone's got either Daedric or... I think it's Daedric. They don't have Dragon Bone, because... Why would Alduin tell his peeps to get dragon bone? It staggers a lifesaver as an archer. You already got an ebony battle axe, I don't need it. Okay, it's just okay. 
Another Death Lord? Okay. Why it's not working? I'm trying to shout right now. Uh, let's do potions. Okay. Why aren't you working? Oh, what the hell? It's like I can't shout and I can't move quickly. There's no way I'm over encumbered. I'm not. Okay. I hit caps lock, that'll do it. Where are y'all? Now the skill here is to, if you're trying to harvest souls from these guys, and you are not doing as much damage as you thought you would be, get them pretty low, and then, uh, okay, so that we're going to use, and that we're going to use, okay. Where's my bow? Where's my bow? Where's my bow? Where's my bow? Oh, yes. Death Lord's gotta be great. Uh, at least greater souls, right? And I believe... Yes. Oh, oh gosh. Oh. Yeah, I'll slug it out with you, why not? Ah. Oh. If you're gonna be an archer, this is how you get your armor levels in. Because for most archery based enemies, you will do more damage per hit than they will. Especially if you have anything more than 100 health. Oh man. Especially with that stagger. Knocks off other archers' hits. And shouts. shot oh right in the top of his top of his forehead I guess is that it out here nobody else moving around I mean I gotta I want to go back and check those other areas so we'll do that in a second for now this is a dead end 
great. This is, I think this is just rubble. Don't think we have anything. We have that. I don't even know how the hell I'd get up there. No, I guess up next level I'd get up there. Okay. Cool. Oh, yeah. I think... I might be misremembering, but I think there's one of those, uh... Dragon priests up there. There's somebody up there, that's for sure. Oh! Okay. We're just gonna finish up- I'm just gonna finish up this exterior area, and we'll stop before I go in there. In that tower. I assume it's the tower. That one was called a tower. There's literally someone up there. It's not what I wanted, and you know it. Yeah. <laughs> it's a drawer. I don't know how he didn't aggro earlier. Okay. And what do we got? A chest. A chest. Decent. 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 Okay. Yep. And I lied. Well, no. Yeah, this is where we'll end. Right here. Well, gamers, as always, like and subscribe. All of that stuff. Uh, we are... We're dedicated. We're going to be defeating Alduin, officially, <laughs> in another episode or two. Uh, I'm going to say one episode just to be, you know, because I want it to be one episode. So yeah, like and subscribe, ring the bell, Patreon's there if you want it to, no pressure. Um, yeah, until I see you gamers next time, take care.